Yes, it's me, before the beginning of the episode. Now, before you go to another tab, hear me out here. You like to read good stories? I like to read good stories. Well, here's a good story for you. You should go check out Quest for the Masks, made by Forerunner Films. It's a rewrite of Bionicle's storyline from 2001 to 2003, which focuses a little bit more on the fantasy aspect of the Bionicle storyline. It's a really good read, and I'm sure you'd enjoy it. I sure did. Trust me, this is not a tacky, cheesy commercial for anything of the sort. It, it's really good. You should, really should check it out. Enjoy the episode. Five, four, three, two, one. Did we go back in time? What? Yeah. Two hours. Yeah. What are you talking about? We, did. we went back in time. Oh, you, you, thank you, you thank you for repeating what I just said. We wait, no, 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 no. We went back in time because we lost our home. Oh God. Okay, and now we're changing the subject. <laughs> I, I, I think, guys, I think, we, I, I think we should just skip the, uh, the. Oh my God, Vin, your avatar is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Um, I think we should just skip our uh, breaking the ice here. <laughs> I hope you realize I'm putting a screenshot of that up on the YouTube video. <laughs> You're gonna scare people. I know. <laughs> run away screaming. Remember, kids, it's fake. Meant... It's fake. Yes, it is. What Elgin meant to say was, we lost our home. We're time and space. Oh my God! No, 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 no. Okay, let's stop this. I'm in space. Let's stop this. On Skype. Let's stop this. <laughs> on TTV. Yes. yes. Let's cut this. I'd cut rather not. This. I'd rather cut not this. remember those days. Let's cut this with a raffle knife. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> copyrighted material, man. So copyrighted material. I'll, I'll just okay, have okay. the little. I'll just have the little girl in my avatar take care of it. Wait. Okay. Well, threat aside, we value your viewership, and for that, we're gonna tell you who we are. I'm Masanak. I'm Vardaran. I'm LJ. I'm Denim. And this is TTV episode... 35? 30. Am I right? 30 something. Am I right? 35, anyone. Anyone. I don't... I, 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 it's 30 something. Just say 30 something 30. and we'll move on. 35. It's 35. No, it's not 35. You're wrong. It's it's 35. You're wrong. I'm looking at the page right now. Uh, come on. Come on. It's 36. It, then? <laughs> what the hell? No, it's 35. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just sabotaging. Yeah. Now you're just ruining my life. Nessa, your life is already ruined. <laughs> Since the day you <laughs> were born. It, it wouldn't have been... I, I wouldn't have got it right if Keeney had said earlier, didn't we record episode 35? <laughs> and the answer the audience is that yes, we did in fact record episode 35. And it got lost in time and space. <laughs> <Bar>. <laughs> Really? Really? My fault? Oh. It, it, it Blame computers. But we're gonna make sure to make this episode an action-packed thrill ride. Yeah, we're so gonna be on. kicking butt Action-packed and... thrill ride. Looper statement on, of, the re of the year. This spring, you are gonna go on an action-packed thrill ride that will rock your socks off. Shut up! The Three Virtues, the movie, coming 2012 after everyone's dead. I'm in a post credit scene! Yee! Ah, get it? post credit Because we're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Why you gotta be so morbid, dude? Oh, I, I'm the morbid I one. Morbid I'm the morbid one. Little girl that was in my picture. Yeah, that was, kind of, that was pretty morbid. <laughs> well, you know. I expected you to, like, call me out like, I'm morbid, you're the one that likes skulls. Yeah, you're the one that likes skulls, freak. 
What about Skull me? Skulls are delicious. What about me? What, what do I do? <laughs> you, 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 you're just an LJ. You don't really deserve to live. Enough. Stop living. Stop it now. This is gonna be my Stop life. it right now. Stop it right now. Alright, moving on. <laughs> right now! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so as is customary with us, we're gonna hop right into everyone's favorite in the news. And start from Monday, if you'd be so kind. Alright. So right above Loki's Cosmic Cube. Yep. Yep. In the news this week, we have Tryout Lego Batman Too Early. May, June, Lego Magazine arriving. Marathon approaches, finish line as the Library Olympics begin. More Lego store openings. Vote in the Lego Battlescapes poll. Enter RPG Forum Contest 24. Favor Files, June updates. Easy Powercast, staff interviews continue. Set review 9447, the Lashes Bite Cycle. And Legoland Discovery Center Tokyo Open. Absolutely fascinating. You know, Thanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. But speaking of Tokyo, at, uh, as of the day of this recording, it's International Sushi Day. That's, That's... great. Welcome back to <laughs> Useless Trivia Facts with LJ <laughs> Your host, LJ Tomikostein. I get you... my own podcast again. <laughs> Useless trivia facts. <laughs> that 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 has to be a spin-off. We gotta make that at some point. No. <laughs> useless trivia facts. With Elton. Useless Pretty trivia rare when you get a useless LJ game. Is here to give you the news. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On everything. Pretty rare when you get a useless game show to run by a useless game host. Spin the wheel. Yeah, figure the wheel of person here has this segment. Spin the wheel of LJ's life. Do you decide where it goes? Oh, first of the <laughs> no, please, no. Alright, fine. I have important things to do than talk with you guys about this anyway. Like discussing really? the Lego oh, magazine. <laughs> really? What important yeah. things do you possibly have in your life? I, I live a very exciting life, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> Playing That's Halo right, all day today. to rank up in a game that you're only going to be playing for, like, not even a year? No, today he ate a spicier sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> every day, were every day I would do it. Oh. Were there chips on it? <laughs> um, it, it was a roller coaster ride of flavor. <laughs> if I... <laughs> okay, I'll put it is if I did eat a sandwich today, odds are it did in fact have chips on it, but I did not eat a sandwich. Oh well man, you're just disappointing everyone now, aren't you? Such a disappointment, Nessa. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So the, the newest Lego magazine, guys. I wanted to talk about Lego Batman too. Oh yeah, you, yeah, talk about it. Go. That's it's going to be the best game ever, guys. We're all going to buy it on the Xbox, and we're all going to have co-op fun. Yeah. It's looking like it actually probably is going to be the best uh, LEGO game made so far. Just saying. <laughs> no one agrees. Uh, okay. Nope, don't agree. Awkward silence. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I haven't you know, played that. I, I, I disagree. I don't think it's going to be the best LEGO game. What are you thinking? Oh, 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 wait, here we go. Well, LJ has no taste in anything, so I wouldn't take <laughs> the salts. I know what you're gonna say, don't even bother. I think that Bionicle Quest for the Toa for and the there you go. was a better game than Indiana Jones or Star Wars. Dude, what's Insert. wrong with you? It's all about Bionicle Heroes. Yes, oh, Bionicle Heroes. I mean, you get to fight friggin' Bitterack, even though he's dead. By that year. <laughs> yeah, Bionicle for the win. Bionicle always wins. Who's this Indiana Jones guy? How do you name yourself after a, after a state? Come on now, Bionicle. Yeah, and how do you name yourself after Jones? Yeah, Mississippi Who's Jones. Why yeah. is he in Indiana? <laughs> Mississippi Jones, activate. <laughs> 
No, very quickly, I just that reminds me. I just want to mention that there are more uh, Lego stores opening in different states. Mm -hmm. There is not a single Lego store where I live in my the entirety of my state. Because there's one live. in Birmingham, Alabama, which is kind of close to me. Sweet home I don't feel, Alabama. I don't feel like driving down to Birmingham to look at uh, sets that I can't afford anyway. Well, sorry for LJ moving away and having to spend his life in an internal Lego, uh, Lego storeless life. Who cares? We're talking about me. <laughs> Misery and discord. What do you mean, who cares? I care. Really? Greed, greed, lies, and misery, the new hit song. I'm just joking, LJ. No one cares about you. <laughs> uh, but yes. That's kind of. I, I, I would like a Lego store in Mississippi one day, but it's not gonna happen. Hmm. For good reason, no one likes Mississippi. Yes, but you know, people, people like my state, and they should. They're like so many shopping mall center places opening up. Back where I used to live, back in the olden days, there was a Lego store in a shopping center. They should do that here. Back in the good old days, you weren't around. <laughs> wow, I just that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> it's funny because what the heck? That was cool even for you. Okay. The LJ train. Something I would like. Train is boarded. Something I would like to mention is the uh, new Lego Club magazine. Now I don't have this magazine. Because for some reason I've stopped getting Lego Club magazines and I don't care enough to mail in the form to get more, even though it's completely free. So I'm just kind of like, whatever. Yes. Whatever, whatever. Whatever, whatever, my life will be better because it won't be filled with nonsense. With that said, but, how, does the, how does Lego make money off their Lego magazines if it's free? I... I don't... I don't even know. That's because actually a good question. people pay for their DLC. They feel that it's unnecessary. DLC for a magazine? What? Doesn't <laughs> 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 make any content. sense. <laughs> Epic. Uh, How do you download content into a magazine? Well, Very maybe careful. it's like glue. Must be like. All right. And in this magazine, they introduced two new Canon Hero Factory oh, okay. characters. Now. now these characters. They're combination models, but they are actually characters in the story featured as of now. <laughs> and these the, these two characters, crime fighting and crime causing duo of the century, unique hero and unique villain. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? It's nice to know that Lego has you know gone you know to the call of duty to make some. Great namings for their characters now. You know, I mean, we 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 yep. we've evolved from the days of Tsahu, Gali, Vakama to unique hero <laughs> and unique <laughs> villain. Oh no! What's wrong with these? Now let me read you the bios. For what am them. I looking at? <laughs> for for <laughs> hero, this what? rookie hero is the latest addition to Stormer's Alpha Team. He has been posted to one of the outer sectors of the galaxy. I wonder why. Where he is the lone <laughs> fighter. <laughs> you can build this hero using pieces from Ferno, Evo, and Surge. So ugly. Why, him... why is his helmet... Why? Why? Why can't they come up with a consistent color scheme anymore? I don't understand what the, what's wrong with Lego. One of his hands are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, okay, okay, okay. It's he, times like this. He covers it like a weapon, though. I mean, it's the yellow hand's fine. The helmet, though. Why? I don't understand. It's so like out of nowhere. It's like he's got a consistent color scheme all the way up until his head, and it's just uh. The thing is, they yeah. couldn't have given him a consistent color scheme. Because this is from Ferno, Evo, and Surge. You see all this green here. You expect Breeze. Surge head is Surge's head is blue. Ferno's head is red. And this guy's is yellow. So why did they choose them to make a combo model out of? I don't yeah. even understand. And if that's true, then why did they use green? Yep. Because uh, Surge doesn't have enough good blue pieces. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. 
Well, but they could have used Evo. Well, then again, it would it would just end up looking like an upgrade of Evo. Why does he have wheels on his butt? <laughs> you don't that is a very good what question. What are their rotors? Why does he have rotors on his butt? <laughs> What's the purpose of this? So he can How would they even underwater help him fly? <laughs> underwater action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this <laughs> now, unique villain, on the other hand, actually looks semi decent. No, he doesn't! Uh, no, no. Doesn't. Well, same, same likewise. What is he had, like, spikes on his butt? I don't understand what's going on. They have some. Like, Underwater action choices. Oh my god. Underwater action. <laughs> the <laughs> unique hero has his different. rotors so he can uh, fly through water, and then yeah. unique villain has those yeah. blades oh, so he can disable his water. rotors. <laughs> Fly through water. That makes so much sense. Wait, how is he gonna disable his rotors with those? <laughs> they just swim around Stab butt butt, <laughs> stabbing each other. Why is it unnecessarily asymmetrical? I don't know. So basically, he has Wait, where is he symmetrical? He has uh, two front legs. Look at the so, uh, where the hair let pores are. This, let me get this straight. This guy has spinning butt cheeks. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how it is. And also, oh wow, yeah, you're right, LJ. What the heck is up with the uh, asymmetricality what? right there? That doesn't make what any the heck? sense. Why did, why did they do that? That doesn't make any sense at all. You should read his bio. <laughs> this oh, well, this just... villain was once an industrial robot until he was exposed to dangerous radiation that mutated him into a bestial form. He is a threat to all heroes, as well as a sworn enemy of Black Phantom. You can Wait, fill what? them using pieces from 6218 Splitface, 6201 Toxic Reaper, and 6216 Jawbraid. Yeah, Braid. So, 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 wait a, so wait a second here. He's a threat to heroes, but he's a sworn enemy of Black Phantom. He's not a villain then. He's like an anti-hero or a hero even. Nah, he's not a hero. Like just because he's, he's like, you know, the enemy of Black Phantom doesn't mean he's a hero. Fine, he's an anti-villain. Anti-villain. Yes. <laughs> How can you be an anti-villain? <laughs> because you're no. a hero. <laughs> no. it's, it's just called anti-hero. Anti-villain and anti-hero is the same thing. Say what you want about this guy and his interesting design and his awkward asymmetricality. At least he keeps a color scheme. Yeah, I know. <laughs> except, except the white hero cores kind of ruin that. You can't really tell in that picture, but they would stand out in real life because there's none of that black. It's just pure white. <laughs> And then the asymmetricality. Yeah. That's really weird. Why do they do that? I also don't like how his torso is really, really squished and bulky. It looks awkward. I know, right? Oh, <sighs> it's like I they don't. took him and then they stepped on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, no, no, no. Um, you know, I need to come up with my um, uh, generic Danish Lego employee impressions again. Yes. Yeah, um, have a conversation between, like, uh, <laughs> random employee number one and random employee number two. And I remember doing that and how they were con <clears throat> coming up with the design and names for these guys. But now I guess. Yes. It's funny because I'm looking at the instructions. They build him like a humanoid. And he's supposed to like walk on two legs. Look at him like that and you get a whole new perspective. Yeah, but they build, like a, they build them like a humanoid up until the point where they add, like, tons and tons of arms into random places. That's what they typically do, because arms make things cool. Mm, yeah, for holding things. You only need two. Alright, so out of these two guys, unique hero and unique villain, who do you think would win if they ever got into a fight? Unique hero. Unique because... hero looks like he can, he can actually, you know, move, so I'm, get, I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah, not to mention unique Kiro because Lego is unimaginative in it nowadays. I can't, I can't really unique. see unique villain being a, even able to like fight without, <laughs> uh, but only being able to like use that like gun on his back. Other than that, he's got like no fighting abilities whatsoever. Except unique like, villain uh, has his swimming back up defense blades. That doesn't make any one, sense. <laughs> his one gun and his cracking <laughs> jaw. <laughs> I'm he a... shall chomp you into oblivion Basically, with his jaw. I'm going to put sea. my bet on the underdog and say 
that unique villain may or may not may have a chance against <laughs> this one bulky I... general grievous menace. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this is why is why are his back legs so much taller than his front legs? Why is he why is he bipedal if his back legs are longer than his front legs? That doesn't make any How does he walk? I don't understand this. I don't he, His yeah, arms I don't they're know. bent in the opposite way that they should be bent. It doesn't make any sense. You see, accidentally during the mutation process, all yeah, his joints go. got glued together and he kind of yeah. just like tries to walk and swim, but he just kind of floats around in the ocean. <laughs> he just squirms in the water. <laughs> Wait, guys, don't leave me behind. I want to be special, too. <laughs> You're special, all right. You can't do it. Here's my problem with him. On his launcher, they gave him, like, this one singular fin. It's kind of hard to see, but it's one fin. Yeah, Here's the problem. If you rotate his gun, which you actually can do, like say he needs to like aim it upwards, or say he needs to like swivel it around, the fin will be sticking obnoxiously on the front, or stabbing him in the back, or the fin prevents him from moving it in certain directions, yeah, he, and it serves no practical. Left or right. If you were to swivel it, sw yep. swivel it any other way, he'd be stabbing himself. Well, Thanks, with his. Thing. With his backup swimming defensive blades to disable rotors like a champ, his one gun and his crushing jaw, he will chomp you into oblivion. <laughs> no, that's a joint. <laughs> I can't move. I could, I, I could, I could write product descriptions for Lego. Do you, do you see that like fin? Okay, right. But like, what's up with the uh, the black peg piece right there? It looks like it's supposed to go into like the hand piece, but it's not. And it's kind of like merging into the piece, the mold, in a really we weird and impossible fashion. Right, all right. That's just like a, an error on Lego's part. <laughs> That's what I figured. Yep. It looks strange. Failed, what failed. Heck? What happened? So <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. It's like it's like they made his mold, right? And as the plastic was drying or whatever and hardening, they just stepped on him and smushed all the pieces. <laughs> At least Unique Hero has, like, a wrist guard shield on his left arm, an electrical sword blade dagger shooter, uh, uh, knee, knee armor on the sides yeah. of his upper legs, you know two what? swivel guns, and, you know, he looks like he can put up a fight. Yeah, I think Unique you know Hero what? would I'm be gonna... fine if they just gave him a different helmet. It's like they <laughs> built I'm, him from I'm scrap gonna... parts. Yep. I'm, I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna build these two sets, and I'm gonna do an individual review on them both. Please do, if you have a webcam. I can, you, you do have a webcam still, right? Nothing happened to it? Yeah. Put it up on YouTube, on our channel. Unique yeah. hero versus unique villain. <laughs> a TTV yeah. production. Walls are to be had. To. We'll turn it into a BioCraft marketing stunt. <laughs> 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 Don't drink BioCraft down in that pit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, you're right. Biocraft. Other than that, down. other than that, I really can't think of anything else. And then I can. Faber files. Yes, Faber files. So, who cares? I do. How do you not care about I'm Faber kidding. files? Yep. <clears throat> I care about the Faber files. All right. I was just joking. It didn't, didn't sound stop. like kid. It didn't sound like any kind of joke that I've ever heard. Okay. So, <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> So Do don't you go. lie to me! Don't you lie to me about joking! <laughs> Would you women shut up? <laughs> Down to TV right now. Shh. Now no, no. Who are you telling to shut up? You shut up. No. Anyway. anyway yeah, so, yeah, I agree. Shut up. I'm gonna get so much flack for that, I can tell. So anyway. Shut up. So, for all the Faber File stuff in June, there's the final showdown, which is concept art, uh, done in 2006, for 2008. Probably I talked about that. A Bionicle Heroes logo. Their power is in your hands. <clears throat> A.K.A. Controller. Uh, more Bionicle Heroes concept art, mainly focusing around an unknown hero with what looks to be a handgun. And then Holly Nika, Miss, Miss Mustache. Concept art of the design of Voyanui, actually. Done in uh, 
I have no idea when these were made, though, but I'm going to go as far It says a date, right, where it says favor. It's 05. Made in 05. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to guess. Uh, uh, the Voyanui Icon, which we saw very popularly in the Paraka online animation game. And thing. the books, too, I do believe. Yeah, and yeah, in the books. Good point. Uh, concept art and design of Mari Nui, which was actually kind of cool. And then we also got to see... <clears throat> The Toamari transport vehicle design, the you know that Rahi that the Toa used to get down through the cord into Mari Nui, that was also a set, the Toa terrain crawler, if I do believe, and it was also one of the main focuses of the Toa Mari 2007 commercial, which he also posted up with the song "Face Me" done by Cryo Shell. Yeah. Closer to reality. That song. <laughs> so that's yes. basically all for the Faber Files current night as of the time. I, I love this blog. <laughs> it's a great blog. He honestly should get Lego's com- permission and for like Bionicle's 15th anniversary or something, um, make a book. Yep, art book. Desi- design. There's plenty of art. Yeah, the design of Bionicle. <clears throat> And it should be like a limited edition thing. That'd be pretty cool. Lash's bite cycle kind of looks like the Toa Terrain crawler. Get out. Not really. Not really. Get out. No. It's just the shape. It's just the shape of the head. The snake head. Sure. Whatever you say. That set looks boss. <laughs> Not as cool as the skull motorbike though. Skull motorbike forever, yo. Shut up, Nessa. <sighs> if anyone knows for- what that is, watch our first TT vlog. No, don't. That was maybe really obnoxious. It's a motorcycle bite hammer with, that uh, is driven by a skeleton. I, I, I with, a bowl, with a bowler hat. Definitely watch it now. I don't know. Our vlogs were pretty uh, interesting. But yeah. um, so. Skeleton hammer or bike. Anyway. Yep. So I don't think that has anything else to say. I guess that about wraps it up for the news. Found it, I'd say. Except for stinking Legoland and Lego stores and places no. other than my state and yours Mr. yeah and remember go vote in lego battlescapes vote for me but i didn't enter so don't do it okay well i'll do go in contest 24 that, no. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah and that reminds me of holy gadunka and that uh yes trailer, that was lols <laughs> holy gadunka oh. <laughs> you said it just like, uh, yes. Oh, are you all right? Don't yes. open your paru. They all Shut have the exact same voice. <laughs> and then Holly. Hey, I'm Holly. Holly sounds like a guy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what happened? My mustache is taking over, guys. No. Jollar is just confused. Or Jollar is just confused. What's going on here? Oh, this isn't going to go well for story development. <laughs> well, all right. We shall now transition into the Comic Maker Spotlight. Oh, no. Because we can. series that I actually have never ever seen before. This is Legends from Peekabot, done by Apple Lord. <laughs> Bit of backstory on Apple Lord. Uh, he joined approximately four years ago and in that time has 647 posts. And his avatar at the time of this recording is displayed by a self mock with a red Picari. Let's let's dive right in. This is gonna be Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, I'm going to look over the recent two comics. <clears throat> at least from the beginning. Uh, episode yeah, episode 10 and 11. Venom's going to love this. Especially the 11. Oh, God. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> this comic series uses Chimuru. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure if these were used, but this uses a basic Touche Chimuru, the original from Dark Zone 9. Comic 10. I don't know what's going on. What looks to be a brown Kopaka Nuva Mata hybrid goes up to what seems to be a, I think, a Vorox. And uh, the Vorox runs away. And then the brown Akaku wearing guy gets into a standoff with <laughs> a guy who changed his color. And, and... Okay, I don't know what's happening here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing my best. So let's go to the next comic with words. <laughs> Completely unrelated. So, we have Pika, uh, I'm gonna guess Apple Lord here. Or, wait, no. Wait, yes, no. Okay. Guy in a, Maybe now, so. A, a guy in a orange Picari says, you know, greets this gang of, I don't know, uh, armor wearing Matoran. And then uh, they acknowledge that there's a Makuta behind them. All of a sudden, two explosions rattle the entirety of the studio. Right, you know, um, on either side of the group, and they're confronted by what seems to be Makuta, an evil-looking Apple Lord, and uh, a a set of children going as a Tohardika for Halloween. Hey, wait a minute! Aren't these my old background? And that's why I thought Venom would find this very interesting. <laughs> oh. So a fight in cert ensues, and. All of a sudden, the Suva in the background lights up, and the Matoran uh, blasts the Hordika wannabes and turn them into normal Matoran. So then, Metru. So then there's an army of dark, <laughs> happy faced Liwa. <laughs> oh, yes. Yep. So then we see Tragaduma dying randomly. There is another <laughs> legend. Even a hero has a dark side. And then so Pikabak turn uh, this guy turns into a Toa and then doesn't. He turns what? back into a Matoran instead of remaining yeah. a Toa. And then all of a sudden, it says that this random black Liwa says it says here we can combine their <laughs> our powers to revive him. And they turn him into a <laughs> What? Wait, I thought this guy was a villain. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, he's random, uh, Black Lewa. And then they lose their armor. The end. What? <laughs> exactly know what happened. Um, three things are apparent. One, uh, there are dead, there are some spelling errors. Two, this guy has used Venom's old background. <laughs> And three, it's very abrupt, and by a very, I mean very. The lack of dialogue doesn't help matters. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's not enough like being explained. It kind of just makes us, you know, like have to guess what's going on ourselves. Yes. So let's have a little bit of a saving race here, should shall we? There, here is a comic from. Yeah, another section of his Where I've Been, Legends from Pikabat, a.k.a. the title of the comic series. And then what seems to be his newest uh, comic, New Characters Part 2. Let's go over Where I've Been. Definite upgrade in uh, graphics. Everything is three-shade now, and they're still using Venom's backgrounds, although slightly oh my God. <clears throat> that would make me yeah. rage so hard, Ven. <laughs> Apparently, I, I'm going to hire Kahi and, you know, just... Uh, apparently Ooh. in this comic, um, Peekabot slash Apple Lord has a wife. What? And there... Okay, uh, I just want to direct everyone here in this current um, a podcast to look at the third from last um, panel. Yep. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't think that's really all that appropriate for BZ Power. The funny thing is, 
he had to edit that to censor it. Hello? Um, wow. What? Uh, sometimes, 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 sometimes. Sometimes I question human. So, <laughs> on this new characters thing, we see very bright characters with very bright text up against a bright background, which seems to be something that he made. And we see a very commonly used um, uh, plot device, a.k.a. how to get new characters, a.k.a. you stand in a random field with a boots <laughs> saying PGSs and free cookies, need PGSs, need characters, etc., etc. And so he goes through a bunch of interesting souls. <laughs> which I don't even know if he sees them as characters. Oh, I got I got I got to read this. What, what's your name and why would you like the PGS? My name is My I'm, name is I'm is... a scientist and a medic. And then another guy. I I'm, I'm ex not and I like to build and repair things. I derp things. I am PGS. And then I am <laughs> Chiron. I like pie and cookies. Now give me a Fascinating. <laughs> well, we could do with a new. Oh, I'm not sure if that word's allowed anymore on these mm-hmm. Third to last panel. Anyway. I'm sorry, I cannot go anymore. <laughs> That'll do. You have to. I can't. Yeah, so, that word isn't. All find all one. Power. Yep. So sucks for you, good sir. Except, I mean, he, uh... except he misspelled it, so I guess technically not. Wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, what word? Where? Uh, idiot. Yeah. Third last panel. Uh-huh. Nice job avoiding the system, good sir. You deserve praise if that was intentional, and if not, well... You're stupid. You locked up! <laughs> oh, okay. I have to edit that one out. Alright, so, retrospective. Because, uh, I'm gonna try a new system here. The pros, graphics-wise. Um... Everything can be seen clearly, and the text is easy to see and read which is a saving grace for the series. The cons, graphic-wise. It's kind of very speedily put together, I think. And I think it would look nicer if your grass wasn't turquoise and looked like water. And probably if you gave credit for using Venom's backgrounds. Um, the pros, humor-wise. I thought, it was funny. <clears throat> I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, the, the pros, humor-wise, I guess it, it's a funny series uh, to look at. And some of the, the jokes in here are funny. And uh, the cons, kind of rude humor here and there. And even, you know, it's not very widely appreciated. <laughs> what the heck is going on in that page? I don't understand. Five, okay, comic 500 posts on BD Power. Yay, 500 posts on BD Power. That's funny. And we see a bunch of people dancing around and one of them eating a melon larger than his torso and then an explosion. <laughs> the bottom line is these funny comics. Yeah, they're yeah. so random and nonsensical that you can definitely get a lot of laughs out of them. And yep. if that's intentional, which I hope it is, then absolute props to you, sir. If yeah. not, either way, I think you should try and go for that more often. Yeah. I just have to ask, how does the Toa Nuva of humor rhyme? Is it the joke? I'm, I'm, I guess. Nuva of humor. Wow. Nuva of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Nuva of humor. Okay. Okay. Well. Uh, if I may. If I may. I agree. <laughs> okay. Nuva <laughs> of humor. No, no, no. I, I just wanted to say, like, okay. so, so, of course. Oh, my God. Knew it. Of course, we all knew that. Um, my 
uh, that these comics use some of my older backgrounds from my comics. I don't really mind. Just like, um, I like to be contacted about people using my work. So, see you out there. Apple Lord, Lord of the Apples. Don't hesitate to ask. But, I've been a member of these now for years. No! I get a body. We hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. Insert filter effect. Well, at least the effect was good. Yes, I, I noticed this elder. Okay. Bottom line is, they're interesting comics. Uh, I'd say... Uh, give them a read, see what you think, and definitely post some constructive criticism. Uh, what do you guys say? I concur. Sure. Keep up the good work. Um, when people turn into a Toa, keep them a Toa. <laughs> <laughs> use, a- you, use, you, use your words. Fight the good fight. Words, are- <laughs> words, words speak volumes. The end. Yeah, your professional life. But yeah, so go check out Legends from Peekabot uh, by the Apple Lord, and uh, let's come and make your spotlight. 500 posts on these Tower, let's party! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I reached 500 posts long ago, and I celebrated with nothing. Like I made a new comedy chapter. That's not really celebrating for me, that's giving my adoring fans. Where? I did actually have adoring fans. I had like two, but they were very hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> they wore like meso masks. They they went to rallies and held up meso signs. They have like little meso. Um, you like my stuff, okay? Pin. Yeah, well, meso. I have three fans. Me, myself, and I. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh... Yeah. Well, it's been a very interesting episode. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, I but make your those. spotlights unique characters, but I'm sh- and uh, favor files. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And me having to call my lawyer. <sighs> yes. Okay, kind. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening. I appreciate your viewership and all the attention you give us. Uh, yeah. So thank you for listening. I'm interested. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, because that was a bleeper. I had to say. Great. Need to go for it. And uh, yeah. I'm Mustafa. I'm Vardaran. I'm Elch. I'm Mustafa. GTP. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, I'm